Hello again, everyone. This is Bell's Books, and we can be found online at abooks.com. So, Dr. Seuss once wrote, The more you read, the more things you will know. The more that you learn, the more places you'll go. Reading is a vital gateway to learning. Never has reading been more necessary than in this age of digital distraction and immediate gratification. Reading also helps children develop coping mechanisms and life skills while making real-world connections. While most picture books are entertaining, it's important to expose your child to quality books that will help develop character and conscience. There are a variety of stories that can teach life lessons and can help your child become a better adolescent and adult. So, I thought I would change the pace a bit and talk about another value of books, not just the dollar signs. My video will be on 12 children's books that teach valuable lessons and will be in two parts of 10. So, starting with the first book, The Kissing Hand by Audrey Penn. This book tells the story of a worried Chester raccoon who does not want to start school in the forest. He is afraid to be separated from his mother until she shares a family secret with him that eases his mind. This classic story teaches children that it's alright to be away from their parents because a parent's love goes with you wherever you go. This is the first in a series of Kissing Hand books. The second, Where the Wild Things Are, by Marie Sendak was a 1964 Caldecott Award winner that is still relevant and well-loved. Young Max's adventure with the wild things in a forest that grows in his bedroom is magical and captivating for children of all ages. This story offers a lesson in unconditional love and the realization that there is no place like home. Even when you get in trouble, and you lead a royal rumpus, you can always come home where you are loved best of all. The third book, Good Night Moon by Margaret Wise Brown, is a timeless animal bedtime story for babies and toddlers. Baby is going to bed in his big green room, but before he goes to sleep, he wants to recognize all the things he loves. It gives your child a sense of comfort at bedtime. It can also help your child develop a bedtime routine by saying good night to his or her favorite things. The fourth is The Runaway Bunny by Margaret Wise Brown. First published in 1942 and never out of print, it's another unforgettable baby bunny story that generations of young children love. In this story, the baby bunny keeps running away from his mother in an imaginary game of hide-and-seek. With comforting words and dreamlike, loving illustrations, the bunny's mother follows and finds her child every time. The story highlights security, peace, and the reassuring consolation of a mother's unconditional love. The Giving Tree by Shell Silverstein is the ultimate story of friendship, generosity, and selflessness versus selfishness. This favorite of children and adults alike is the tale of an apple tree that loves a boy. The tree sacrifices everything for the boy she loves as he becomes a man and his needs increase. The sixth book, The Little Engine That Could, by Buddy Piper tells the story of a small blue train that has to make it up a steep hill to help a bigger train. All the other trains have refused to help, but the little blue engine with its can-do attitude persists and succeeds. First published in 1930, this book teaches youngsters the value of hard work, persistence, optimism, and never giving up. The seventh book, Corduroy by Dan Freeman, 
was first published in 1968 and remains a favorite with parents and teachers alike. Cute little teddy bear Corduroy is sitting on a store shelf waiting for a child to love him. Unfortunately, he's missing a button. The story follows a search for that button that will fix his overalls. What he doesn't realize until the end is that the little girl who buys him loves him just the way he is. It doesn't matter to her that he has a flaw and that a piece of him is missing. This story teaches your child acceptance and that no one is perfect. We all have flaws. Our family and friends love us anyway, even with our faults and shortcomings. The next book is The Rainbow Fish by Marcus Pfister. It tells the tale of a beautiful, sparkling, but conceited fish that refuses to share his iridescent scales with his friends in the ocean. Blinded by his vanity, the fish ends up with no friends or admirers. Eventually, he learns that friendship means sharing is caring. Your child will love the bright and reflective illustrations and the story of the meaning of friendship. Judging others by the way they look on the outside is not the way to make friends. The ninth book, Healthful is Your Bucket for Kids by Tom Raff and Mary Reckmeyer uses a metaphor of an invisible bucket for happiness. Each of us has a bucket to fill each day with our words and our actions. When our buckets are full, we feel wonderful. But when our buckets are empty, we feel terrible. The main character, Felix, learns how every interaction with family, friends, and teachers in a day either fills or empties his bucket. He then realizes that everything he says or does to other people fills or empties their buckets as well. Basically, this story teaches your child about kindness and compassion and the old adage, treat others as you want to be treated. And the final book is Swimmy by Leo Leone. This is a story of a school of small fish and one brave little fish named Swimmy who lived deep in the ocean. While the ocean is beautiful and full of wonders, it is also a dangerous place. The little fish are afraid to come out of hiding until their friend Swimmy shows them how they can overcome any danger using creativity and teamwork. This timeless favorite was a 1964 Caldecott Award winner and has been a favorite ever since for generations of readers. So now you're armed with a list of tried and true classic children's books that will enrich a child's life. The author Ernest Hemingway once wrote, there is no friend as loyal as a book. So thank you for joining me with today's video. If you like these type of videos, please click like and subscribe and I will continue to bring you new and different content as well as the latest auction prices. And as always, if there's anything you would like to see on a specific video, just reply in the comments below and I'd be happy to oblige. Okay, take care until next time.